Are you struggling to get your Azure functions to recognize your SendGrid API key? You're not alone. This is a common issue that many developers face, and today we're going to unravel this mystery together. I completely understand how frustrating it can be when documentation doesn't match the user interface. It can feel like you're trying to solve a puzzle with missing pieces. You're definitely not the only one feeling this way. Let's dive into the specific question at hand. One user reached out saying they followed the documentation for using SendGrid in Azure Functions but couldn't find the application settings panel mentioned. They created keys in other places, but are still facing issues. Sound familiar? Let's explore this together. So what could be going wrong here? The error message, unable to resolve value for property sendgrid attribute.api key, usually indicates that the function cannot find the API key in the expected location. This often happens when the settings are not configured correctly or the UI has changed. Stick around because at the end of this video, I'll share a quick tip that can save you a lot of time and headaches when working with Azure Functions. To resolve the issue with the SendGrid API key, the user should first navigate to the Azure portal and locate their function app. Next, the user needs to access the configuration settings for their function app. This is where they can add the SendGrid API key. Now, the user should add a new application setting for the SendGrid API key. They can do this by clicking on the New Application Setting button. After adding the API key, the user must save the changes. This step is crucial to ensure that the function app recognizes the new setting. Finally, the user should test their function to confirm that it can now access the SendGrid API key without any issues. Fun fact, did you know that Azure Functions can scale automatically based on demand? It's like having a personal assistant that works harder when you need it most. Now, let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative solution from another user suggests navigating to the Platform Features tab at the top of the Azure portal. From there, you should click on Application Settings under General Settings. By scrolling down, you'll find the App Settings section where you can enter your SendGrid API key. Here's that quick tip I promised. Always double check your key names and values. A small typo can lead to big headaches down the line. And there you have it. With these steps, your Azure Functions should now be able to find your SendGrid API key. If you found this video helpful, please hit the subscribe button for more troubleshooting tips. And remember, a little attention to detail can save you a lot of time.